Hey guys, welcome to my new podcast, Creating Art Out of Life, with me, Elena V. I'm a film director and dancer from the Philippines, and I've made this platform to celebrate life and art. I'll be having eye-opening, inspiring, and fun conversations about what artists go through in life and how we use it to create masterpieces. After all, love and pain is where art blooms most. If you're watching this on YouTube, please do subscribe. And if you're listening to this on Spotify, please do follow. You can also follow at e.v.world on Instagram for podcast clips and my own Instagram as well, at Elena Barata. Your support would mean the world to me. And now I'll leave you to it. I hope you enjoy this episode. Peace. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. We are at a different side of my room because today it's just me. Uh, I'm not sure that's unfortunate news to you guys. I don't know how you guys have, if you guys enjoy the guests more, but it's my time. I'm taking it back. <laughs> no, I've enjoyed the past few episodes having, you know, some of my greatest friends and, and amazing artists on, uh, but... I find that to be maybe a little bit unsustainable with, you know, when when I do get busy, it's going to be hard to keep having guests on. So I want to splice it up a bit, you know, have a little have some episodes where I'm just going to be talking and have some episodes where, you know, guests can come on. So a little bit of a balance there. Um, and by the way, uh, this is still my room. The, the other set is right here in front of me. Uh, this is where I work. This is my my hub. This is where I edit everything. This is where I think. Uh, I love this space. It's where I'm at all day, all night, literally. Um, but I did want to also say, guys, I'm sorry about the change in lighting, the change in camera. And <laughs> it's not that I'm indecisive. Uh, I'm just like trying to figure out what works best, especially when I don't have Vince. Uh, shout out Vince, he's been helping me on some of the episodes But when I don't have Vince and it's just me I'm trying to figure out what is more efficient to shoot Or how it's more efficient to shoot um, So, you know, just take it as I'm trying to adjust And see what works in the first few episodes So today, actually tonight, it's literally midnight It's midnight and I'm packing for Europe I'm leaving to Europe I'm going on a Euro trip for a full month on May This May So when this comes out I'm in Europe. <laughs> I don't know where, where, like, which city I'm gonna be in, but I'm I'm in Europe right now, uh, and I wanted to just make sure I had something out. Um, but yeah, I'm literally packing tomorrow. I leave, so uh, I just wanted to make sure I, I do have something to give you guys. And um, t- for today, today's episode, I'm going to be focusing on how to be productive. And that's not to say that I I I fail at that. Sometimes, a lot of times, actually, um, it is hard to be productive in this day and age. I mean, let's be real, right? Uh, but I try my best, and I, you know, I've found like certain things that work for me that really help my lifestyle and my brain um, stay productive. So I'm gonna share these little methods with you. I feel like that would help some of you guys. Um, so how how do we stay productive in this day and age? In this like super hella distracted world i think first of all um what i would do before anything before all the tips is to really sit down and think about your goals and um i know that's such a not everybody does that but i mean not not everybody sits down and writes their goals down but that really works for me um and one of the methods i that worked for me was knowing your big goal so that's like, you know, your dream. Um, what, it, what is it in your future that you're trying to achieve in the next few years? Know those, know those big goals. Um, and then what are the medium goals? So what is it that you have to do every month uh, to, to get to that big goal? So if, if my big, big goal is I want to, you know, I want to finish my feature film and have my feature film done, um, the medium goals would probably be like, okay, um, uh, every month I have to at least knock down a certain amount of uh, tasks or every month I have to have maybe this amount of, of script done or, or this amount of meetings done. And then you have your smaller goals. So smaller goals is uh, basically what you're doing every single day 
to get to the medium goals that get to the to the bigger goals. So it's always a uh, you always have a reference, and um, everything really comes back to the bigger goals. Um, so my smaller goals every day would be you know writing for an hour when I wake up. Um, my bigger goals, uh, my smaller goals can be. Um, you know, making sure I work out every day um, and that, you know, it, it works for different things. You know, the big goals, you can, it can, it can pertain to your career, your health. Um, how I, how I did it is I organized my goals from career, health, uh, personal goals, um, business. So those are big goals that you can, you can have as your reference. And then um, everything just comes down and, and trickles down into the smaller goals. Um, so I, I find this to be super duper helpful if you want to maintain a vision. I think if you maintain the vision of your future, then certain things, you'll, you'll see that there are things you're doing that is not aligned with the goals that you want. And, and you start to kind of decrease those distractions because if you have it in your head that these are my bigger goals, these are every, everything I'm doing right now is towards those goals, there is much more clarity for you to, to, to see the things you're doing that just doesn't, it's not aligning with the things that you want in the future. So that's what I would do at the very start is really like knowing your goals and figuring out what you want in your life um, and knowing when you want to achieve that, you know, have a timeline of when you want to have that done. Uh, that really gives you clarity and it's given me a lot of clarity. I know what I want to do. Um, so when you have that down, now I am going to give you some tips on, you know, what you could do every every day, every, every week, um, things that have really, really helped me and the way I work. So number one, these are very practical stuff, by the way. Number one, make your bed in the morning. I read this on actually several books, several articles. When you make your bed in the morning, it's like you're you're getting one task done already. So, you know, that, that feeling of you achieve something right away, it trickles down to the next hour, to the next minute. And when you get something done, you check that task done, make my bed. Um, that kind of mentality, you're already solidifying once you wake up. So make that bed in the morning once you wake up. Um, also... Do not look at your phone. Don't look at your phone once you wake up. Give it like 30 minutes. Give it like 20 minutes. Um, because once you look at your phone, dopamine, boom, boom, boom. We don't want that fake dopamine. Well, it's not fake dopamine, but it's not the right kind of dopamine you need. Um, so don't use your phone when you wake up. I, I promise you that is going to ruin your head. It's going to ruin your mental space. Um, and, uh, that kind of dopamine, that's what you're going to seek for the rest of the day. And it's just a distraction right away. You don't want to wake up and start looking at Instagram and looking at like, um, things that are going to really divert your headspace. Um, we don't want that. So don't look at your phone once you wake up. I know that's a hard thing to do for some people, especially with work, but can you really not spare like 20 minutes? not to look at your phone when you wake up and if you can't then wake up earlier come on the next thing i do is after i i get up i make my bed i light up an incense <laughs> this is this is just me i light up my incense and then i start to do my meditation and i do this like literally you can just do it for five minutes if you're a busy person five minutes just give it five minutes um if you if you have time give it like 10 to 20 um because this i feel really when i clear my head in the morning and i remember the things that i want to remember i i reflect on my on the things that i want in my life i reflect on the things i'm grateful for um and i take out everything i don't need in my head um when i when i just meditate and i and i and i and i'm in silence and i really just ground myself um that's when i feel like my head is so much clearer and i can start my day um, knowing that I'm grounded already. So meditation for me is such a huge, huge thing. It's so important. Uh, it's probably one of the important, most important things that I do. Uh, it's, it's really saved my life. You know, meditation is, is such a powerful way of, of finding yourself and finding your peace and, and being super in tune with yourself. Um, all the, all the most successful people would say the same they they meditate because it's so good for your body and in your mind um so yeah meditate in the morning then the next thing 
Actually, this is supposed to be done bef the night before. Well, I do it the night before, but you could do it also in the morning. Is um, scheduling. So I'm the type of person that it, I need. What what works best for me is if like I schedule my entire day um, because I'm I, my my head is you know a little messy. So I can get I can get kind of sidetracked with a lot of things because I'm constantly thinking I want to do it. I want to do everything right now. So um, it works for me and my brain when I see in my day that from this hour to this hour i have to be doing this from this hour to this hour i have to be doing this like it just works better for me because it's just that's how my brain works i need to do chunks of time and know when to stop um and and do the next thing because if not then i'll be doing something and it'll trickle down and trickle down and trickle down and then i realize fuck i don't have time for my for the other things i need to do so scheduling your tasks so what I do, what works for me, is I schedule the tasks the night before. And this helps because you already know what you're going to do when you wake up. You like, you know what you have to do and when you have to do it. So um, instead of waking up and then having to think about it, like it's nice to wake up and you already know. Um, and it also works if you do it on Sundays. So you, you know, kind of have a week agenda. You know what you're going to do for the whole week. So, you know, these are things that really work for me and my brain. Um, and I think it could work for you guys. So scheduling is very, very important. And also when you schedule, uh, this is just a tip for scheduling, is to eat the frog. And I'm sure some of you guys have heard that. But basically eating the frog is just getting the stuff that, that sucks the most or is the most is more the most difficult tasks. You get that done first. So first thing in the morning... Um, what are the most difficult tasks that need to be done? Get those done first because the dopamine you get from finishing the hardest task, it will trickle down. So, um, you know, it's it's really getting a head start on everything. And, and once you why not just finish it, right? Um, rather than like putting it off because that's when procrastination comes in. And I have gone that route many times. So um, we don't want that again. So eat the damn frog, guys. Eat the palaka. Then the next tip I have is visual aid, is writing the things you need to do down. So I've got here, I'm not sure if it's seen in the, the screen. I'm literally blind right now. I don't have my glasses or my contacts. But I have a whiteboard and I, and I write all my, my tasks down. For me, I'm a, I'm a super visual person, <laughs> if you don't know by now. But I need to see my, my tasks sometimes because then I'll forget. Um, I'm a very forgetful person. So, you know... Again, this is why these things work for me. My, my brain is just floating sometimes. So I need to see what I need to do. Um, and it helps me because like then I can like check it off and I know what I'm done. I've done already what I have to do. Um, so visual aid really helps. Even just writing it down. Uh, I have a notebook and I write all the tasks I need to do in the day. Um, or certain notes on my table. So I really see it, especially if it's like urgent and I have to do it. Then I'll put like a note on my table. Um... But yeah, these are, you know, when you have visual aid, you're just like constantly reminded, you won't forget it. And uh, it just helps to, to see your progress in the day. Another tip I would have is to limit your, well, it's not really a tip. It's, you know, you need to, but you have to limit your distractions. And a tip there is iPhone actually, well, every, I think every phone has, has features. But my, what I would do, I, ha I have this app called Forest and it's the cutest thing ever. It basically, you are, when you when you plant it, 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 it the, the user face basically says, um, I guess I think it's plant. And once you start planting, it'll ask you how many, how many hours. So let's say I'll go for like one, like two hours where I don't, I, I shouldn't look at my phone. So you start planting and then the timer begins. And if you complete the two hours without checking your phone and, and exiting the app, you will have planted something, a tree um, or an apple, an apple tree, a mango tree. Uh, by the end of two hours, it would have been planted. <laughs> so um, it's the cutest thing ever. So, you know, af if you do that like constantly every day, you'll start to have like a forest. So it <laughs> it's the cutest thing ever. And it's it, it actually really helps me because... Um, you know, you look at it, like sometimes I'll be, I'll be tempted to look at my phone and then it'll be like, oh, are you sure? <laughs> because like, you're gonna kill the tree. So, 
we don't want to kill the trees so yeah that's another tip if you want if you guys want that uh but iphone also has a lot of features where you can limit your your screen time you can limit your uh time on apps so i would say use it use it to your advantage because your phone it's not really it's not you know it's not really entirely our fault that we're constantly distracted by our phones our phones are controlling us um it's called big data and you know they're they know what they're doing <laughs> technology and all these big companies know what know what they're doing um th they're designing everything so that you can stay on it you know on their app on their articles on their games uh, it's designed that way so um you have to have more control than that, guys. Don't let the big data and the big technology run you and control your life. Um, you know, just learn how to limit things and, and limit distractions um, because it, it really is a black hole and um, it's designed to be that way. And lastly, you know, actually, I could go on and on, but this is really, I just really wanted this to be like a short and sweet kind of thing. So another big thing that, that really helps me is uh, working out in the day. It's, I, used to, I used to work out in the morning and then I figured that it worked better for me if I worked out like, like in the weird hours of like 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. because the gym gets really like crowded like either in the morning or in the afternoon. So I found that time to be better for me in my, in my schedule. But um, there are times where i do like it in the morning because then you know you already have that energy and it's already boosted like you feel good so again it's what works for you but i find that working out or you know going for a walk like you know you have to set time um for you know some people just work 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 that's not good for your brain or your body so um you have to set some chunks of time to just go for a walk um you know go for go for a run get a little bit of sweat in uh it feels so good and your mind can just like kind of decompress from all the work and information that you're taking in so that works really it works a lot for me um another another form of meditation is going for a walk and getting some sun um you know i i used to when i had more time i used to go for a walk in the morning 20 minutes with my dog and i actually really love it and i miss i really miss it because I love the sun. I'm sunshine girl. I love the sun. Like I like once I feel the sun on my skin in the morning, I'm just like, all right, I'm ready. Um, but I love the sun. So you know, vitamin D, baby, uh, it's the best. You wanna you, you it, it is just the warmth of the sun in the morning feels so good. And when you're going for a walk with no phone, by the way, um, you can kind of it's like a meditation for me too. So, you know, either you go on, a, on, you know, a breathing meditation or you go on a walk, whichever works best for your brain. Again, um, these are great things to start your day with. So those are pretty much like my quick tips on how to stay productive. Um, you know, there, there's definitely more from there's definitely more where that came from. Uh, and, you know, I can't give you guys everything that would work for you. But these are some tips that you could try out, you know, if, if you're in a very distracted kind of you're wondering why um, you get you, you waste so much hours sometimes just doing things that are not productive or doing things. And then, you know, you realize, ah, oh, shit, like it's already six, 6 p.m. and I haven't done anything like um, procrastination is real and distraction is real. So um, it's taking control again of your brain. Uh, taking control of your mind and and uh, you know it's these little hacks that that will help. I swear, there gotta there's gotta be one hack in in those in those ones that I've listed. There's gotta be one that works for you guys. So um, I hope that helps you guys, and uh, I'll see you on the next. Thank you guys for watching this week's episode. Next week, we have my friend, Christy McGarry. She's a beauty queen turned badass model, DJ, and entrepreneur. We talk about her unconventional shift of careers and everything in between. Go subscribe now or follow me on Spotify, and I'll see you guys next week.